Um, hello, um, good afternoon. This is just going to be a very short video about an article I wrote last week. My name is Blessing. Now, what I was writing about the article is about behavior, people's behavior when they travel to Western world. Now, my article was not meant to, you know, it was meant for it to be a discussion for us to discuss about people's attitude. I mean, and for people to know that this is what is expected of them. Nothing, nothing more. I mean, I've had people talk about UK people being stingy, UK people not, you know, not being, you know, not giving, you know, not being able to give money and everything. And, and I'm like, okay. And I used to be like that before. I used to say that before when I was back home. But when you start living in this country, you know, you understand that the system, that's the way the system works. We, we work so hard but our money is being taken by the tax system. But, you know, what I wanted to say was, when you are leaving any country, Africa, to come on a holiday, you're going to be spending 30 days um, or two weeks in somebody's house. Please, please, please. Try to get a little bit of sense. That was what my article was all about. What I'm saying is, Try to make sure that as you're coming, you have the right attitude. Don't leave Nigeria without at least getting something that is local. When I say local, something that you know that they might not be able to get, uh, is not available in the country where they live. I mean, things like Oso or crayfish, even though we can get crayfish, but I mean, try and get those things. It's not that people don't have the money. It's just that you appreciate the fact that you'll be staying in their house for 30 days and they'll be feeding you and keeping you company and you're going to be alone. Being in a hotel room, I've tried it when I was younger, could be very boring. Though some people prefer that. I prefer being in a hotel room. I love my hotels because I always go for like, you know, you know, good ones. But when I with an opportunity to be in a country where I have people and they want me to come and stay over, I try to make sure that I have a gift with me as I land. So I give them something. And also while I'm there, I try to make sure that I am adding. I'm I'm not I'm not taking away something. I'm I'm my being there is a blessing. Is a blessing. It's not a cause. You don't you don't wake up at eleven o'clock, go and eat. Tell them you want to go out or ask them, you know, you try to make your presence be felt. Do you understand? That's all I'm, that was all I was trying to say. I'm just trying to say that as you travel this 2019, get some common sense. Understand that the people that you are living with for that few days, that they are human beings and that you should be able to understand that, that little things that you should be doing I know you guys have house helps, you know, servants back home. We don't in this country. We don't. Everything is done by both partner. And that was what I was trying to say. So you don't come here and then you become a tick madam. No, 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 no. No. Okay? No tick madams. You come here, you try to do things on your own. Don't sit down there, don't balance there and expect me to take care of your children, take care of you. No, it's wrong. Another thing that I said, which I felt was something I wanted to mention is, please, even if you are a bank manager or a telecom senior supervisor, when you get to UK, if the person you are staying with is an ordinary, um, let's say, security person, or a cleaner, or is working as a care, please don't go back to your village or back home to talk about them. Oh, see that kind of job that they are doing in the UK. Oh, they say they live in UK. Oh, you ha. Now, winch chop you. Now, Chris, they worry you. The point is, people coming to this country, it takes at least five to ten years for them to get on their feet. It happens to most people. Even as a student, I came here as a student. I did some odd jobs before I get to where I am today. So please, don't belittle them. Don't talk about them. Because tomorrow, it might be your turn. You might decide to relocate. 
and then someone will have to talk about you or now you now avoid people coming to your house because you know that you normally used to brag and talk about UK people and now you don't want people to come to your house and know what you do. So that was what my article was all about. Just trying to make people understand that some behavior are not acceptable. That's why some people avoid people once they say, ah, I'm coming to UK, I'm not around though, I'm traveling, though. I'm going to America or whatever, because they don't want their public or their private life to become a public, you know, discussion or to have them being something that will be discussed in the village meeting. Okay. And then another thing that people think, I mean, it's just annoying is that people come to the, you know, to the Western world and you just make it. Like I see if there's money everywhere on the street. If you're in my house and I take you to Tesco, or I take you to the shops. Do you understand? I should, I, I, I imagine that when you say you're going on holiday, you must have budgeted. You must have told yourself, okay, I'm spending this amount of money. This is how much I'm going to spend on shopping. Please don't give me things you buy for me to pay for you. No, 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 no. Okay. You are the one on holiday. You are the one that is on holiday, not me. So anything you buy, you should pay for it. Don't go and stop on a, on a picking spray or, you know, buying things and like, oh, auntie, can you pay for me? Auntie, I don't have, no, 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 no. It's not good. Okay. I live on budget. So when they pay me a budget, I know what I want to use my money for. Do you understand? If I'm going to buy something for you, I'm going to buy, but don't go start picking things when I'm doing my shopping and you're putting it in my trolley. It's so annoying. It's not right. Get some common sense. Now, listen, for some people, I've blocked them. I mean, when they tell me they're going to come, I'm like, okay, uh-uh, I'm not, I'm not around. I'm very busy. I'm doing, because, because I cannot have you in my house. And then when you go, I ha I'm on depth. It's not going to happen. I don't want that. Do you understand? So that was why I wrote that. Do you understand? I, I mean, I do travel a lot, like I said, and I do mine hotel because I have, I have a family and that's what we decide to do hotels. But if we're going to go to an immediate family house, we try to get some sense. We, we buy our own groceries. We make sure we do our own shopping. If the person is still buying for us, we also try to contribute. We try to clean. We try to, you know, we do everything. So the person feels that our coming is not a burden. Okay. That was why I made that, um, that was why I wrote the article. And I hope everybody now understands why I wrote the article. I mean, I had, I've had a lovely guest this Christmas, Christmas, and I've told them any day they want to come, they can come. Summer, whatever. I didn't, I didn't, I'm not stressed. I'm not stressed. They go out on their own. They do, you know, when we, I mean, they're fantastic. And that's what I'm saying. So I felt like if they can understand, if they, if they know, every other person should know. Every other person should have the common sense and not have the gimme, 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 gimme mentality. You live in UK, ah, you're like, there is no gold, though. There is no gold that is being, that, that you can go to one tree and go and pluck. Oh, there is one gold that, as if the street of UK, as you come in, we are all, no, no, it's not. We work hard for our money. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, thank you for watching and, um, Go to my, if, I mean, just thank you for watching. Bye-bye.